That's what refugees need. They need someone to trust them, someone to just help them step a little bit forward and then become a better version of who they are. Since I'm, I was young, I had the vision of building peace in my community and the strong passion for young women, especially girls, because having been left as an orphan, I had to survive with my siblings to live and to be able to access education. Support and education for refugees is very important because if we look beyond someone being refugee but considering the potential and skills they possess, then solutions that we are seeking from different places belongs with these young refugees. So for me, I feel education and financial support, giving space for refugees to, to do what they are able to do is one key to create the change that we want to see in this world. I became a refugee at a very young age because we had to move from one village to the other to seek for safety and protection for our lives. For three years, I really tested and felt how hard it is to be a refugee. And I cried and I healed from my traumas. I never knew that I missed my parents being an orphan, but every process we went through with other young people around the world, the times I cried, those moments were the moment of inspiration as well, that once I go back home, I should do the same thing for young people. One of the things I took from Watson, that courage and that conviction that I have a voice and I have a power to influence change, once I have support and connections, when I went back home and realized that Congo being known as a country where war and crisis has been going on, people don't talk good about Congo, but I saw the goodness of Congo, the young people ready to really create change in their communities. I named it Power of Africa because we are the power of Africa. We young people, especially young women, if we are given tools and skills that we need, we are going to bring that peace that hasn't been there to happen. We work between 10 to 30 years old and these are women who are internally displaced and others are girls who have been victim of rape or violence during the war. We want to help them heal from their unspoken wounds and be able to voice up their voices and live their dreams as well. You don't know how refugees feel until you live with them. So being a refugee, especially in communities like Changwali, it's like being in a prison because your mind do not think about becoming someone. You're always constantly thinking on how to survive. Support from organizations like Western Union, they do matters because you don't just see people by their status. You go beyond the status that we have seen refugees. We bias about refugees thinking that they can't do anything in life. But having that support, it's already building courage and motivation for these refugees to bring out what they were not able to bring because no one trusted in them. Just giving them a tiny trust and an opportunity to go out and they just express themselves. My personal goals is to help create safe spaces where young people, especially women and girls, come together, share their dreams, and be able to just go out there and shine their light. So it's my responsibility, it's your responsibility to just do good wherever you are and together we are going to have a perfect world.